What do we got today? We've got a Toys R Us exclusive Alien vs. Predator Thermal Vision Warrior Alien Glow in the Dark. In other words, it glows in the dark. We also have a green screen behind it. Also available, as you can see on the bottom, it shows the, uh, I think that's the regular AVP warrior, the grid alien, and the concept art big chap. Unlike the ones we've done in the past, this one does not have um, any packaging stuff on the sides. Only on the front and back. Just the normal clamshell. Yeah, which is interesting. Because in the past, we've had the little pictures on the sides. All right, ready? Open. Meditating magic. I'll give this. Ooh. I didn't even notice that. That's very nice looking. We do keep all of these down yeah. in the back. Since we don't keep the packaging itself. I wish we had the money that we could have, like, our open ones and our ones that were still in the packaging. Yeah. Oh, he's doing a real blend in. Oh, my God. At least we got Christmas colors red on the bottom, green on the top. Is, is it just me or is his tail super long? It is really long. What the heck? So, first things we're noticing. It feels really gross. <laughs> it barely smells like a neck of figure. <laughs> it still has the smell, but it doesn't smell oh, that bad. Oh, he's kind of stiff. He's a little stiff, but oh, hun. Yeah, Separate can... finger articulation. Yay. Holy nice. balls. Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh, he's also got some ball joints. I told you, holy balls. It looks like his chest he's got those joint is a little higher up. He's got those up. stiff knees again, though. We'll get over it. He'll, oh. he'll get over it, I mean. They have the double jointed knee again. That's sexy. He's got the toes. That's actually really the nice. That the toes have been bending in the, in the Warriors. The two, though, not like the whole foot. Yeah. And the fingers have not in the past, though. Yeah, the fingers That's are bending. That's very nice. I don't like that the paint isn't all the way over. It just kind of looks like a smear. Yeah. So it almost looks like it chipped off at the top. And here it looks like it it's feels all like wait it there. look it feels like it chipped off the top. It's like I think that's like the brick they had in the mold or something. It's um the head caps are on most of them a separate piece that gets put on top. Yeah, so it's not so it doesn't it. fit. Perfectly. Oh, here's the test. Does his mouth come out? I don't have the tweezers. I've been I've I learned that. Tweezers are man's best friend for these. Or lady thumbnails. <laughs> you can get him in such better positions. Like, look at that. You can't do that with the other figures. You can't do that. The head isn't constricted by the little no no like nozzle things Wait, on these ones. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a spine. They don't have back spines. They don't have back spines. Did they just cut it out of the design? Oh. I've never quite liked the AVP design of the alien quite as much. The head is a bit shorter. Does the AVP one not the have the spike? The back, the back tubes are thinner and longer. The tails are longer. But seeing it as a figure, it works a lot more because you get a lot more articulation. You don't have the bulky bits. Just a comment about um, continuity. Why is it that these aliens from AVP look more like Big Chap, but the ones from Aliens from Aliens look more well, spiny? From a filming perspective, it's because they decided to alter the design because they were originally an alien supposed to all look like Big Chap, but after they started casting the resin heads, they started cracking and they realized this ain't gonna look good on camera, so they decided to go for a more minimalist, minimalistic approach. Um, so that's why they ended up looking different in Aliens from Big Chap. Uh, the explanation that I understand it to be, uh, lore-wise, is as they grow older, like Big Chap, if he had grown older and had more time, he would have developed into the spiny-headed warrior. Thank you for the lesson. Uh, some of the connections in the figure itself, um... 
uh, the only issue I really have a little bit of the paint. Fingers look great, toes look great, um, knee joints a little stiff, but you find that closer. really good for posing. Absolutely. So much better for posing. And the head has so much more motion to it. Like, just look at what I can do with that. Honestly, even though I like the design of the regular Aliens ones, the AVP ones work so much better as figures. Yeah. Definitely loving the color, loving that they're showing that they can't, like, it's not just all black. Yeah. So that was that. It's a thing. You can barely see him. Let's see what green screen magic does to him. Well, we hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful day. And? We'll see you next time with more alien stuff. Bye. Bye.